What's up everybody? It's Enes here. Welcome to another episode. Last week we toured an incredible property in Tarzana and a lot of you who saw that video seemed to really like how much property and land you can get for the price point. That's why we figured this week we should come back to the valley and in fact we're going to tour this newly developed modern farmhouse right behind me located here in Toluca Lake. Now specs on this house. We got seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, 5,312 square feet of interior space, built on an 8,022 square foot lot with an asking price of $3,649,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property down in the description. And before we start our tour, I wanna to thank our good friend, Jason Pai with JJP Construction, who is the developer of this property and the listing agent, Dennis Cherno, for allowing us to tour their amazing new listing. Now let's begin. Before we go inside of the property, let's briefly talk about the exterior. We have a nice front lawn area, nicely hedged and landscaped. House is a beautiful modern farmhouse architecture. We have a board and batten siding finish on the exterior, complemented with a brick facade on the second floor. Really simple color palette with the white siding and white brick, complemented with black finishes like the windows, doors, roof line, gutters. Overall, it has a beautiful contrast, and I really like the window header detail that we can see on these front-facing windows that gives a little bit of character to the exterior of this home. Now, let's go inside. All right, everyone, here we are at the entry, and first area we have in front of us is the formal living room area. Nice and spacious. We have the comfortable seating here, beautiful wood paneling on the walls, and on this side, we have two wall sconces, gas fireplace to cozy up the space. And this section of the house is all open. Right next to the formal living room area, we have the formal dining room area. Again, beautiful chandelier above, nice and open, table for six. And we have these oversized French doors opening up to the patio space in case you have your friends over, you're throwing a, a party, you can easily leave these doors open, have people flow in and out of your backyard. And as we continue our tour, we have the main hallway here, taking us to the family room and the kitchen. But before we go there, let's take this smaller hallway and let's tour the first room right here. This is one of the bedroom suites, nice and spacious. Gets a lot of natural light. We have the veins cutting on the walls, bed is situated on this side. You get a bit of a built-in closet set up here. And as we go in, this is where we have the full bathroom, penny tiles on the floors, going all the way into the walk-in shower and we have this back tile wall that also goes all the way into the walk-in shower. I want to show a detail that you guys are going to see throughout this house. Every single bathroom, the countertops are going to match the bathroom shower sills and the bench design. So although the developer uses a lot of different materials, he finds a really good way to kind of um, make them look uniform throughout the whole bathrooms. Now, right next to that room, we have the office here. This also counts as one of the bedrooms in this house. We have the dark wood paneled wall behind the desk set up here. Same hardwood floors are also here. This is where we have the built-in closet. And going in right here, we have the full bathroom. Pretty straightforward. We have tile floors, walk-in shower, and I really like these uh, penny charcoal uh, mosaic tiles that goes all the way into the walk-in shower. Now, let's continue our tour. Let's go check out the family room and the kitchen. And as we're back on the hallway, this is the staircase taking us down to the basement level, as well as the second floor. We have, I believe this is the powder room. There you go. We have the powder room here. Same hardwood floors continue. These nice, I don't wanna, these are not subway tiles, but they're a little bit longer than a subway tile, but they have a nice texture to it, which is clad all the way around the walls and a beautiful floating vanity set up here. Stone countertops, stone face, and even the drawer fronts a nice stone with a fabricated sink. Now, this side of the home is where we have the family room and the kitchen. We're gonna start with the kitchen first. Beautiful oversized island design up front and complemented with these darker toned cabinets, but we have some wood toned uh, upper cabinets matching the ceiling design, which is really nice. Let's start with the island first. 
We have the beautiful stone countertops with this little bit of a bar kick out. And I really like what Jason did here with these uh, leg design. It's something different. And we have some uh, base cabinets below the bar seating, beautiful panel lights above. And right here we have the panel freezer and fridge. It's one of those push designs. There you go. Mikey, did you know also these drawers, they have soft clothes. Oh, really? Look. I guess that's, that's always nice to have. I know you love uh, soft clothes in general. So. Literally, I closed it like a couple, uh, a couple minutes ago. I was like, it's kind of nice. Yeah. Just, I don't know if you need it, but it's just nice to have. No one will ever hear you just slamming <laughs> fridge doors. <laughs> right. Uh, we have more pantry space here. I guess before we continue this way, let's go in here. Um, this door opens up to the pantry and we have the hallway connecting us back to the formal dining room area. A little bit of a service area here with some open shelving. I really like the brackets that the developer used. LED lighting, even get a small uh, fridge set up here. Now let's continue our kitchen tour. More cabinets. We have the same countertops like, the, uh, like we saw on the island. And this beautiful distressed glazed looking backsplash design that carries out all the way to the end of the wall, complementing the breakfast nook. We have the Thermidor six burner gas stove here. Of course, the pot filler, Thermidor um, vent design. And I really like how the developer kind of left this section open. It allows this side of the kitchen to kind of breathe a little bit rather than having too much cabinetry. And as we turn back, we have the panel dishwasher here, uh, kitchen sink, your microwave. Overall, really good sized kitchen for a size of home like this one. Behind me, complementing the kitchen, we have a nice breakfast nook area where you can see your backyard, some casement windows, beautiful chandelier light fixture design. And I really like how we have the wood paneling kind of on the kitchen side of this uh, area, kind of warms up the space. And the kitchen kind of flows towards the family room. We have beam ceiling detail on this side. And of course, built-in speakers, recessed lights, like the rest of the house. A Little bit of built-in setup on this side. Mikey, can we get a close up? I really like this uh, iron design. I don't know if it's copper, brass. It's kind of woven in there. Yeah, it's a cool texture detail, right? Yeah. I like that. And comfortable seating, of course. And we have more built-ins on the other side with the LED lighting, nice color contrast with the wood finish and the darker tones. Really like these wall sconces on each side. Kind of gives it a nice shade to the built-ins. And of course, your linear gas fireplace. I'm pretty sure right behind this painting, uh, developer taught it through. He probably has the wiring for the TV and the beautiful herringbone pattern on the fireplace here. Overall, very cozy living room area. Now, this living room flows to the outside. Pocket doors, there you go. Let's open this one up. While you're opening that, I guess I'll say this. You know what I like about this house? What is it? It's not pretending to be something that it's not. We see some of these farmhouses at lower price points that'll have these finishes that are kind of not matching the style of the home, but this kind of has this elegance and like the herringbone tile and just like little touches here and there that are just kind of uh, complement the overall style of the home. No, I know what you mean. It's not like the house doesn't come off show offy, I guess. You know, it's more subtle, has a lot of warm tones and it just functions well. Yeah, exactly. Well, there you go. Now we have the set of doors pocketed into the walls, opening up to the patio space. We have a gazebo design kind of above us, giving a little bit of shade to this area. And as we continue, let's start here. We have a built-in barbecue set up here. You get a small fridge, your outdoor barbecue. And as we continue, we have the pool set up here. Patio extends out, your spa, good size pool, especially considering the lot size. And the property is nicely hedged. That's something I look for, you know, if you get privacy or not. And in this case, I can't even see any other neighbor, which is great. As we continue, more of a grass section on this side. Actually, before we go to the fire pit area, why don't we take this walkway real quick? Um, so on the right hand side, we have the detached garage with nice epoxy floors that opens up to the side street. And this walkway takes you to the patio space off of the formal dining room area. So you get a little bit of a side yard over here. Now, as we continue our tour, uh, we have an additional little patio space here. This is where we have the fire pit, a little bit of a seating area. Overall, a great house, cozy backyard. I'm in pretty good setup. Yeah, I totally agree. Like I said earlier, this home is very simple but elegant and it has a lot of great touches and finishes and just small little designs to kind of set it above and beyond. I agree. I mean, especially for the price point, we get a basement, 
all these bedrooms. You have nine bathrooms in this house. Cozy backyard, finishes are really nice. It's warm, it's not an intimidating house. I think Jason did a great job. You guys should definitely go and check out the links in the description uh, for Jason's Instagram and uh, Jason's YouTube channel. I kind of forced Jason to start a YouTube channel because he's got so much diverse knowledge about building, construction, and uh, I'm glad he took my advice on that. And uh, yeah, check out his link in the description. Uh, who knows, maybe we feature him in one of our videos or I show up in one of his videos. Yeah, and you already show up on his Instagram lives from time to time. So uh, yes, if I you did. ever want to see Ennis in his natural habitat, I guess go follow Jason and, and exactly. keep an eye out for those lives. Literally, he was on, uh, doing live the other day and I just jumped on that call. Uh, it wasn't planned at all. Overall, great backyard and that wraps our tour for the first floor. Now let's go check out the basement. All right, everyone, let's check out the basement level. We have the wood panel walls here, giving that shiplap look, beautiful staircase design. And I really like the railing here. Right in front of me, we kind of have the living room area for this level. We have an egress window here, bringing natural light to this level. A Little bit of a wine display and some built-ins. Tool table in the center, a little bit of a seating area on this side. Overall, a nice open space. And following this hallway, First off, we have a full bathroom here. Let's check it out. Tile floors, walk-in shower, beautiful vanity design with a thick reveal. And right here, we have a small room. This doesn't count as a bedroom because it doesn't have any windows, but again, currently stays as a gym and it has nice Chevron uh, pattern hardwood floors here. As we go in, this is where we have the official first bedroom. Egress access, currently staged as a massage room but it's very spacious. I can easily see a queen bed on this side. And of course, this bedroom also comes with its own bathroom. Mosaic tiles on the floors and this back tile design that they came up with this vertical lines on a, a staggered pattern goes all the way into the walk-in shower. Beautiful vanity design, another good sized bathroom. Now let's continue our tour. Also, I just realized baseboard plugs throughout the whole house. I wanted to mention that. I know how you love those. I love those, right? And we covered this section. We have a hallway, hallway storage, another hallway storage on that side. And this door opens up to the screening room. It's a very spacious room. We have the chevron pattern hardwood floors also here on the basement level. I really like the wall paneling with LED lighting here. Comfortable seating. You get a little bit of base uh, cabinets here with a fridge design, some open shelving, projector, surround sound. I mean, what else do you need? Yeah, I, uh... You and I spoke earlier, we really like this house. We could we could totally see this ground floor being used as kind of like an entertainment media office, you know, multiple executive offices, screening rooms. It's it kind of has- Podcast rooms, I mean, so much to do. Yeah, it has a little bit of everything. I agree, I agree. I mean, basement is what sells me about this home. I really mean that because you get all this space with ceiling heights. I just feel like it complements the house really well. And that's it for the basement level. Now let's take the stairs and go check out the bedrooms on the second floor. All right, everyone, as we're coming up to the second floor, we have the wall sconces lighting up the staircase. And here we are at the landing of the second floor. We have three guest suites on this level, plus the primary bedroom and the laundry room. We're gonna start right here. This is the first bedroom staged, or I guess decorated as kids room. Uh, we have three windows bringing natural light. It's front facing. Mikey, pan up to the ceiling right there. We have the electrical, um, box with cap you can install a, a ceiling fan or anything you want over there light fixture this and is familiar to one of jason's other properties exactly his details kind of are uniform right yeah we have the built-in closet here going in full bathroom setup let me turn on the lights for you guys um tile floors wood pattern tile walk-in shower again countertops used as the bathroom sill and the bench design not to mention we have a really cool um, vanity setup right here now, as we get out, we have a little bit of hallway closets here. Another bedroom on this side with a chevron back pattern wall. This one is currently staged as like a little bit of a kid's playroom. But again, you still get a full walk-in closet on this side, beam ceiling detail, and a full 
bathroom. Nice vanity design. And I really like how Jason kind of changed all the bathroom designs. This one has a little bit of a different tile look uh, with a stacked pattern, tub design, overall very spacious, well-designed bathroom. Now, last bedroom is here. Closet on this side, bed is situated here. Two windows bring in natural light. And we have a full bathroom here, just like the other bedrooms. Vanity design, walk-in shower. Now let's go back to the hallway. By the way, I forgot to mention, we have a skylight right here, bringing natural light to the landing of the second floor. And this is where we have the laundry room. Really unique choice with these uh, darker mosaic tones, but I really like it with the um, staggered pattern subway tile. You get a small sink, some open shelves, washer, dryer, some open shelving. Another detail, Mike, can we pan up to the ceiling? I encourage every single developer to do this, put bathroom vents in their laundry rooms because when you do your laundry, it gets, I mean, you can have a lot of moisture in the room and if it's closed off like this, it's nice to have a vent. That's yeah. a good touch. Yeah, I like that. And I've been, uh, this is a little bit of a change of subject. Okay. I've been reading the comments and people want you to start saying, Mikey, please tilt up, not pan up. Not pan up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so used to, I don't think about stuff like this. It's just like, I, I say whatever it kind of comes to my mind, I guess. You know, people are gonna, gonna hold us to our very best in the comment section. I guess, but I'll try my best. I'll, I'll try to adapt to that as well. Also, this is where we have the primary bedroom. First off, I really, really, really like the ceiling design here. So you kind of have like a chevron pattern, but since it's a pitched roof, it kind of all comes together at the, uh, at the center. It just looks very cool. and. Um, we have, the, of course, the recessed lights, built-in speakers, and I like the white and wood tones. So we have the hardwood floors, wood panel back walls, giving that board and band look that we saw on the exterior of the home. Some wall sconces, we have the king size bed here. Windows are bringing natural light. It's facing the backyard on this side. And um, we get a little bit of built-ins here, stone clad fireplace to warm up space. And we have the TV wiring right behind it. Overall, very a good size primary bedroom. That's for sure. Now, bathroom starts right here. Let me turn on the lights for you guys. And this bathroom is extremely spacious. We have these stone slabs throughout the whole bathroom floors as well as the walls. And we have a good uh, double vanity set up here. Again, some of the wood tons are also here. Beautiful countertop design, wall sconces, circular mirrors, right in the center. It's a unique choice, but again, it warms up the space. This drop ceiling design with the wood tones, with LED lighting, and then freestanding tub. Back wall is nicely tiled as well. That's facing the backyard. And Mikey, let's, let's show this walk-in shower because it's so spacious. Um, double of everything. So we have the whole um, shower head handheld on this side on the other side as well. Beautiful rain head right in the center. Your shampoo niche. And of course, drain is nicely tucked underneath the bench. So from this point, you don't even see your drain. Very spacious. Let's not forget, we wanna show every single detail. I guess it has a steam feature too, right? Um, no, I don't think it does. I think it's just to let out that extra I steam. I don't think it has steam. I, I don't see outlets. Uh, water closet on this side going in. This is where we have the walk-in closet. I really like the handle design. I actually with the brass and black touch. And you know, you have your open shelving, hangers, um, space is well utilized all the way to the ceiling. We have the shoe racks on this side. Nice closet off of the bathroom. But I wanna say overall, I'm really impressed with the primary bedroom design. I think it's the ceiling, wood paneled back wall, hardwood floors, proportions. You have your fireplace. It's just a nice, cozy, intimate setting. Yeah, and it, there's just like a lot of warmth in this house. Like I said earlier, I really like it. And uh, his other listings are kind of like this as well. If you all want to kind of compare his building techniques and styles, we'll leave the links to his other properties down in the description uh, that we've toured. So go check them out. Yeah, definitely make sure to check out those videos. And uh, let's jump downstairs so I can summarize my thoughts on this house. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining us on another episode. For this week's video, we wanted to cover this property because in San Fernando Valley, you get so much more value for your money. And particularly in this house, the amount of square footage you get, bedroom counts, all these beautiful finishes, and the fact that this house is a newly developed home makes it so much better. With that, I wanna congratulate the developer, Jason Pye, for doing such a phenomenal job with this property. I wanna thank the listing agent, Dennis. Both of their links and the property link will be down in the description. 
Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or input, make sure to leave us a comment down below. I pretty much read every single comment. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next week. <music>